Hello everybody! Welcome to my Fiber Files. My name is Nancy, but you can call me Frenchie. And today I'm answering Crafty Yarn Owls challenge called the hashtag crochet whip slide. And I'm going to show you all my crochet whips and a couple of my um, completed objects, which are more rare than the whips, I'm sorry to say. But anyway, um, the first thing I'm going to show you is the heart hook and home, um, Kamana, Wana, Ruana cardigan. I've showed it a couple of times. Um, I've worked on it a little bit. I, I got it upside down there so you can see a little bit better. Um, and I found it a little bit challenging because... <clears throat> The pattern, excuse me, the pattern calls for first making the bottom and the middle panel in uh, in the lover's knot or the Solomon's knot is also called. And I've showed it before and I really love it. I think it does have a pretty effect. Uh, but the pattern called for doing the right side of the back by itself along from the bottom up and leaving the yarn attached and then doing the other side the same way and work your way up and then sew each side to the middle and i found out really really annoying to have two yarns attached to it it got tangled up it was every time i turned to do the next row it just got all tangled up and had had to undo everything and untwist everything and I found it really annoying and I kind of gave it up um, but what I'm probably going to do is just cut the yarn and deal with the tail ends I think the only reason for leaving the ball attached was to have less end to weave in so I don't care I'm just gonna weave in the dens the other thing that I was working on is my Mary Maxim uh, Crochet Club of the Month. Um, and I don't know why I wasn't enjoying making it. I frogged it a couple of times because I had the stitches in the wrong spot. So I parked that one too because I lost patience with it. And I don't know why. I mean, I think the yarn is really pretty. Um, it's discontinued uh, Summer's Kiss. And as you can see, this is how much I ended up frogging and rewinding around the ball. So it was quite a bit. So I kind of like got discouraged a little bit. Uh, but this is... These are the, uh, what the skeins look like with the label. Um, but like I said, it's discontinued, so we parked that one. Then I started kind of just freehanding a top that I was trying to make for myself. Um, with a, a little bit of a fishnet pattern to go here and then to go down the length of the shirt with the connected double crochet that I just re read that I just discovered recently which is just a way of making your double crochet so there's no gap and I might I might show how to do that in another in another video um if you know I can get up the courage to do a tutorial I'm not exactly sure I don't really only have my phone, so I don't really have a way to hold it up or have proper lightning to not have shadows and things. So I'll try to teach myself how to do a tutorial, and I might show you how to do that. Another whip that I have is a uh, Mary Maxim pattern. I don't remember uh, the name of it, but it's for a, uh, a throw. And it basically works in connected triangle kind of like a connect as you go squares but it's just big triangles 
So you do your first triangle all up into the end, up to the end, and then you do a single crochet row along the back to get back to the bottom of the triangle. And then you work your second triangle into the side of the first one until you get to the end. I'm not quite at the end of the second triangle, but since it's summer now and it's a very heavy, warm yarn to work with, I kind of parked that one too. Um, but you know, once I finish that triangle, then I go down the side again, and then the third triangle until I have the fifth triangle connects to the first, and it makes a, is it an hexagon with five sides? I don't remember. I really wasn't good at math and geometry and all that kind of stuff. And this is made by, with uh, line brand Homespun New Look. Uh, I believe that in the cakes it's discontinued, but they still have it in the balls. Uh, the uh, Homespun yarn. I don't know if they have the same colorways. Uh, this colorway is called Nursery. Is that focusing? Yes. It's called Nursery. It has 185 yards, 169 meters, 6 ounces, 170 gram. It's 98% acrylic and 2% other fiber. And I believe the other, since it's like a twirly kind of type yarn, the other fiber is the, the little thread that holds it together and pulls it into this loopy stuff. Um, it's probably a roving style. So I do see how it comes out of its thread here. And it's a lot more poofier. Uh, so, but that was a very pretty color. And probably I'll pick that one up back in the fall to finish it. And my other whip that I have that's recent is a double-sided blanket that I'm making for my youngest. It's just shells and loops. And when you work it, you switch color every two rows. And one side has the shells in one color with the other color showing through. And then the other has the shell in the other color with the other color showing through. So it's reversible. And then to that, I'm going to add a border that's going to be the other way around. So that the main color on this side will be white with the green poking through. And on this side, it'll be the other way around with the border in the same pattern. So that's another one that I have on the go. Now, I have other stuff on the go that I haven't touched in months and months. I have a uh, chevron-style blanket that I'm making for my dad and a couple of scrap yarn blankets that I don't even know if I'll ever finish, but I'll have more scrap yarn, so probably, uh, which is a corner-to-corner. -corner. Now, to some finished objects. Uh, I saw it here. This is a bralette that I made for my daughter. Um, she lives out, she lives out of town and she's coming to visit soon, so I can't wait for her to try it on. So I can adjust it if it doesn't fit properly. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. It's a pattern that I bought online on uh, on Etsy or Ravelry. I don't remember. And I finished the mezzo cardigan that I was talking to you about. I just need to add the pockets because my daughter finally answered my question when she was home. And I remembered to ask because most of the time I remember when she's not here and I text her and she doesn't answer. So I'm just going to put it on backwards because it doesn't fit. So I can show you. So that's how it looks in the back with the sleeves. Uh, I decided to keep the cuffs because the way they work is, again, I mean, I want it finished and done and that's it. 
So I'm going to show you just a little bit, turn it around and look at, see how it looks in the front. Not sure what happened here as I made the uh, border on the uh, around the collar and the side, it curled up. I followed the pattern, but I might have skipped some stitches because it's shorter than the rest of it. So, but she likes it, so I'm not going to worry about it. And the last completed object that I'm going to show you, you've seen it in the background of my first video, is this is called a festival cardigan, which is a yarn inspiration pattern. It also comes with a matching bralette, which I'm going to see if I have enough yarn left to do in the matching color eventually. So it has a nice kind of a lacy flower pattern. That was really fun to do and I actually learned how to follow the graph for it. And instead of having the instruc reading the instructions, I was just going by the graph, which was really a fun experience for me and let's see what else I wanted to talk about something else and now it slipped my mind um, yeah there's a couple of other things that I want to start there's a pack oh, I dropped it there's a pattern by uh, crystal at bag o' day crochet that I want to do, which is one of our latest pattern, which is a, a shawl with a very pretty uh, flower pattern similar to the one I showed you in the cardigan. I'm going to do it in uh, Lions Brand Date Night. And it's really pretty and sparkly. So I can't wait to try that, but... I'm disciplining myself and I'm going to finish one more thing before I start this one because I'm really getting out of control. And there's a couple of more things that I wanted to show you. I forgot to get ready for you. So let me just pause for a moment and I'll bring them back for you.